what the options are. There is no lose, there is no fail. Just go. Seem like life go light to speed. Slow it on down, baby, just to breathe. It's cold outside, I just sleep. Got here late, light just to leave. Wings on my shirt, and I cannot fly. Asked her I love her, but I cannot lie. Open up the door, like can I ride? Heart made of stone, I cannot cry. Hand on the glass, I can feel the rain. You don't wanna fight, not feel your pain. But I gotta go hard, gotta go far. That don't mean that we gotta fall apart. I'ma stand tall for all of us. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you to another edition of SmackDown. We are two weeks away from the Great Balls of Fire Preview. We are coming to you from Glendale, Arizona for this edition of SmackDown here tonight. Now folks, we are going to kick the night off with a six-man battle royal that will determine the number one contender to the Intercontinental Championship as out first is the 16-time world champion, John Cena. The winner of this match will face Randy Orton at the Great Balls of Fire preview in two weeks for the Intercontinental Championship. Now Cena and Orton know one another very well. Back in season two, John Cena defeated Randy Orton in an amazing matchup at the No Mercy pay-per-view. And later on in that same season, Cena was able to win the Universal Championship and Orton won the King of the Ring Tournament and the winner of the King of the Ring Tournament could challenge for either the WWE Championship or the Universal Championship at the Royal Rumble and Randy Orton chose to challenge John Cena Randy Orton came up short in that match but it was one heck of a match Cena prevailed both times they met on pay-per-view The next man in this match is former NXT champion Andrade. And there he is, draped in gold. And his opponents, first from Gomez Palacio Durango, Mexico, weighing in at 215 pounds, Andrade! Andrade has held the United States Championship before. But he has never held the Intercontinental Championship just like John Cena. Andrade looking to win this battle royal here tonight. This will be a big victory for Andrade because Andrade, he desperately needs to win right now. It's been a while since he's been able to pick up a win. He's had great matches. But he just needs to win one. Last week here on SmackDown, his manager, Zelina Vega, accepted Alexa Bliss's open challenge for the SmackDown Women's title. Zelina Vega became so close to becoming SmackDown Women's Champion. Andrade looks to become one step closer to becoming Intercontinental Champion. And the guy has what it takes. He is championship material. You can tell by his appearance tonight. Here comes the next man in this matchup. Cesaro, a former United States champion. Now, folks, the first three participants in this matchup are former United States champions, but they have never held the Intercontinental title. Cena, Cesaro, and Andrade have never held the Intercontinental title, but yet they have been United States champions.
The Swiss Superman Cesaro looking to win this match tonight. Cesaro versus Orton would be a great match to see. Andrade versus Orton would be a great match to see. I know Cena versus Orton would be a great match to see. Here comes the animal. A man who knows Randy Orton very well. Former WWE Champion. Batista. And from Washington, D.C., weighing in at 290 pounds, the animal, Batista. Batista met Randy Orton back at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view a few months ago in a Falls Count Anywhere match. For the Intercontinental Championship. Randy Orton with RKO Batista through the announce table. And get the pin like that in the Files Can Anywhere match to retain the title. Batista has not forgotten about that. I'll tell you that. Batista and Randy Orton go way back. Batista and Orton. Two former members of Evolution. When Batista made his return back in 2014 when he won the Royal Rumble, he thought that he was going to face Randy Orton at WrestleMania one-on-one -on -one for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. But Daniel Bryan spoiled those plans. Speaking of Daniel Bryan, he faces Shinsuke Nakamura for the WWE Championship in two weeks at Great Balls of Fire. But I tell you, Batista looks ready tonight for this battle royal. Oh, man. Also, a former United States champion, Jinder Mahal. Folks, it's pretty interesting having Jinder Mahal in this matchup. Because when you come to think about it, Jinder Mahal is Randy Orton's weakness. Back in 2017, Jinder Mahal defeated Randy Orton on three consecutive pay-per-views. At Backlash, Jinder Mahal shocked the world. And beat Randy Orton to become the WWE Champion. Then at Money in the Bank and ran to his own hometown of St. Louis, Missouri. Jenna Mahal was able to retain the title against Orton. And then at Battleground, in the Punjabi prison match, Jenna Mahal beat Randy Orton. With the help of the great Kali, of course. And also back at WrestleMania 34, in that Fatal Foy match, Orton walked in as U.S. Champion. Jenna Mahal walked out as U.S. Champion. Jenna Mahal knows Randy Orton very well. Here comes the final participant in this matchup. Also a former United States Champion, but this man is just one Intercontinental title behind Chris Jericho. Here comes the eight-time Intercontinental Champion, the awesome one, The Miz. Chris Jericho is a record nine-time Intercontinental Champion. The Miz is an eight-time Intercontinental Champion. The Miz, one of the greatest Intercontinental Champions of all time. I tell you, whenever the Miz is the Intercontinental Champion, he makes the title feel special. Miz makes the title feel prestigious. You may not like this guy, but you sure got to respect him. This match is underway. And just like that, the Miz is eliminated by Batista. We are down to five. Man, Sandy Cena here tonight. 
Batista off the ropes. Oh, what a big kick. Yeah, look at the strength of Cena. Oh, what a face buster. And there's a suplex by Jinder Mahal. What an L by Cena. Oh, man. Cena got hung up down the top rope. Now look at Batista trying to eliminate Jinder Mahal. Jinder Mahal with an elbow. Now Andrade going to sit down in the corner. There's a face buster by Cena. What a start by Batista. Now Cena going after Andrade. Went for a shoulder tackle, but that was countered. Now look at Jenna Mahal countering Batista. Batista goes over the top rope, but he comes back in. As down goes Cesaro. Close on to Andrade. Now Jenna Mahal going after Cena here. Oh, what a super kick. And there's a side slam by Batista. And look at Cena here. Samoan drop. Went for a close on with Batista. Oh man, he hangs his eye on the top rope. And Cena with a close on over the top rope, and Jinder Mahal is eliminated. We are down to four. Andrade, Cena, Cesaro, and Batista. And Cena eliminates Andrade. What a kick by Cena. Look at Cena trying to eliminate Cesaro here. John Cena has two eliminations. It's Cesaro about to be eliminated by Cena. No, he doesn't. He comes back in. As a counter. Look at Cena. Belly to belly. Elbow by Cena. As a strike by Cena. Cesaro drops to a knee. There's a kick by Batista. And Batista with a suplex. Kind of by Cesaro. But look at the power of Cesaro. Uppercut to Batista. And Cena. Just slamming that knee of Batista down to the mat. And over the top row goes Batista. Cena has three eliminations, folks. What a final two this is. Cesaro and Cena. Look at the strength of Cesaro. Cesaro just slamming Cena. Which one of these men will be going to Great Balls of Fire to challenge Randy Orton for the Intercontinental title? Will it be Cesaro or will it be John Cena? Bulldog by Cesaro. Cena back up. Cena puts Cesaro against the ropes. Elbow by Cesaro. Counter by Cena. Back and forth we go here. Kick by Cena. Cena has that arm. But look at Cesaro here with some punches. That Cesaro is free. What a start by Cesaro. Oh man, good thing Cena wasn't standing straight up. Because Cena would have got knocked out cold. And Cesaro has something for Cena right there. Now look at Cesaro trying to catch his breath here. Now Cesaro has a hold of John Cena. We look at Cena with some punches and Cena is free. And Cena with a face buster. Cena has that arm of Cesaro. We look at Cesaro with some punches to the gut and Cesaro is free yet again. There's a counter by Cena. Counter by Cesaro. German suplex. No, Cena with a counter. And Cena with a drop kick. Now Cena got a taunt. Cena's 
Cena has a hold of Cesaro. Puts Cesaro against the ropes. Now Cena has Cesaro on his shoulders. Cena. AA over the top rope and Cena gets the win. John Cena is the number one contender to the Intercontinental Championship. Folks, what a battle royal to start this show. It came down to Cesaro and Cena, but Cena was able to overcome Cesaro. And Cena now has a shot at the Intercontinental Championship. So ladies and gentlemen, the stage is set for great balls of fire in two weeks. John Cena battles Randy Orton for the Intercontinental Championship. A rivalry renewed. That's going to be one heck of a match. That match is probably going to be match of the night. Orton and Cena meeting yet again. Folks, congrats to John Cena on winning this battle royal and becoming number one contender to the Intercontinental Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, there's Natalia. Let's see what the Queen of Black Hearts has to say. It's a lot of things I need to get off my chest tonight. And folks, I'm just going to let you know right now, I am tired. I am sick and tired of waiting in line. I am one of the best women on the SmackDown roster. I don't even get opportunities around here. I didn't even get a chance to be in the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. I was not in one qualifying match for the SmackDown brand. And I'm tired of it. I am tired of being overlooked here on SmackDown. I am a former Divas Champion and a former SmackDown Women's Champion. And doggone it, it's about time I get another shot at that SmackDown Women's Championship. It's been a long time in Universe Mode since I got an opportunity at that title. I believe the last time I got an opportunity at the SmackDown Women's Championship was last season at Payback in a six-pack challenge. All the way at Payback. And here we are. Almost at Great Balls of Fire. Almost at SummerSlam. So at this time, I'd like to call out the SmackDown Women's Champion Alexa Bliss down to this ring. Last week, you gave Zelina Vega an opportunity. I want an opportunity at that title. Right here, right now. So come on out here, Alexa Bliss. And it looks like the SmackDown Women's Champion is going to oblige. As here comes Five Feet of Fury, the goddess, Alexa Bliss. And there she is right there. Our current SmackDown Women's Champion. Last week she was able to successfully defend that title against Zelina Vega. Alexa Bliss has a microphone. Let's see what Little Miss Bliss has to say. Natalia, I am going to tell you the reason why you've been overlooked here on SmackDown. I am about to tell you the reason why you haven't been given the opportunity here on SmackDown. It's because no one likes you. No one likes you to tell you. And no one sees anything in you. So that's why you've been overlooked. It's because no one cares about you. Oh wow. Alexa Bliss, you really think I care if someone likes me or not? I am here in the WWE for one reason and one reason only. And that reason is to be champion. And I challenge you to a SmackDown Women's Championship match at the Great Balls of Fire pay-per-view in two weeks. Oh, a challenge. You see, Natalia, I think you're probably the only woman on this SmackDown roster that I've never ever faced one-on-one. -on -one. So, I accept your challenge for the SmackDown Women's Championship at the Great Balls of Fire pay-per-view. In two weeks time. Thank you. 
because now I will finally get the opportunity I deserve and I will not mess up this opportunity I will not let this opportunity slip through my fingers and that great balls of fire Alexa Bliss you can say goodbye to that Smackdown Championship when I lock you in that sharpshooter and make you tap out whoa don't get too ahead of yourself Natalia because I am the greatest Smackdown Women's Champion that this universe mode has ever seen. Natalia, a great boss of fire, you better bring your A game because I am better than I have ever been in my entire career. And a great boss of fire, I will retain my title against you. We'll see, Alexa. We'll see. Oh, Natalia, with a disrespectful slap across the face. It was something to tell you. So, folks, at the Great Balls of Fire pay per view in two weeks, Alexa Bliss will defend that SmackDown Women's Championship against Natalia. Natalia kicks Alexa Bliss. That's a kind of a Bliss. And Bliss with a hurricane run to Natalia. And Natalia with a German suplex. Went for a kick that was countered. Look at Natalia here. Alabama slam. Now Natalia, well I'm missing no cool driver. Let's listen with a kick. Irish whip. And Alexa with a hip toss. Now Natalia with a butterfly suplex to Alexa. Went for a kick to the back that was countered. And Alexa a Bliss with a Bulldog. And Natalia getting up with a clothesline. Folks, what's going to happen when these two meet for the title at Great Balls of Fire in two weeks? We are back live and on SmackDown as it is time for some women's action. As here come the former women's tag team champions, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce, the Iconics. Folks, the Iconics look very different coming out here without those titles around their waist. But Peyton Royce is set to do battle against one half of the Women's Tag Team Champions, Kyrie Sane. And folks, I can confirm that the Iconics will indeed get their rematch for the Women's Tag Team Championship, but it's going to be at the Raw exclusive pay-per-view battleground in three weeks time so that is when the Iconics will get their rematch at Battleground here come the current women's tag team champions Kyrie Sane and Asuka the Kabuki Warriors Kyrie Sane and Oscar won those titles at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. It was such an incredible match. This past Monday, Kyrie Sane defeated Nikki Bella. Tonight, Kyrie Sane has another match. So this week, Kyrie Sane has really been a workhorse. This should be a very interesting matchup between Kyrie Sane and Peyton Royce here tonight. Yeah. Peyton Royce, Kyrie Sane. Referee's bell, and here we go. There's a kick by Peyton Royce. There's a counter by Kyrie Sane. 
There's a strike by Royce. And Royce with a neck breaker to Kyra Sane. Drop kick right to the back. There's a forearm by Sane. Over the top rope goes Sane. Oh, what a strike. I mean, over the top rope went Peyton Royce, excuse me. Now look at this. Alabama slam. Wait a minute. Peyton Royce with a counter. Shoulders down. That's two. Kick out of two. There's a kick right to the chest. Now Peyton Royce with that split. Shoulders down the same. That's two. Kick out of two. There's a counter by Sane. There's a kick by Kyrie. Another kick. Hurricane Rana. Hayden rushed back to her feet. And down goes Kyrie Sane. Elbow by Sane. And there's a drop kick. Kick right to the back of the knee. There's a drop to hope. There's a kick. And there's a DDT. And Kyrie saying has to roll to the apron of the ring. Now using the ropes to pull herself up. Oh, what a strike. And now Kyrie Sane headed to the top rope. And Kyrie Sane taking down Peyton Royce. Into the cover. Is that going to be enough to put away Royce? No, Royce able to kick out a two. A near fall for Kyrie Sane right there. Oh, what a chop. Shoulders down. That's two. Kick out of two. There's a drop to hold by Peyton Royce. Now Peyton Royce with that fisherman suplex. Shoulders down. That's two. Kick out of two by Kyrie Sane. Kyrie Sane just barely kicked out. There's a German suplex. Shoulders down on Royce. That's two. Kick out of two. There's a body slam. Now Kyrie Sane going to the top rope. Wait a minute. There's a kick by Peyton Royce. Kyrie Sane was probably thinking the insane elbow drop. Oh, uh, this in the end. Well, a superplex by Peyton Royce. Oh, wait a minute. There's a counter by Kyrie Sane. Now Kyrie Sane to the top rope. Insane elbow drop. Into the cover. That's two. Kick out of two. A near fall for Kyrie Sane. There's a drop to Hope. There's a kick. And Royce with that DDT. These women locking up. Oh, what a kick. Oh, what a throw. Shoulders down. That's two. Kick out of two. There's a counter by Royce.
Look at Peyton Royce here. What a Death Valley driver. Into the cover. Is that going to be enough to put away Kyra Sane? No, Kyra Sane yet again kicks out of two. A look of disbelief on the face of Peyton Royce. Oh, what a form by Sane. Over the top rope goes Peyton Royce. Oh man, Kyra Sane flips her back into the ring. Went for a kick. That leg was caught and there's a dragon screw. What a counter. Irish whip. Uh-oh. This ain't finna be good. Kyra Sane with that sliding elbow. Now Kyrie headed to the top rope here. Kyrie Sane. And Sane elbow drop. Nobody home. Nobody home. Now Peyton Royce looking to take advantage with a suplex. And she's not done. There's a second suplex. And Peyton Royce executes the Venus fly trap. That's two. Three. No. A kick out of two. Kyrie Sane survived. Oh man, Peyton Royce was perhaps going for a Death Valley driver again. But Kyrie Sane counters. Went for that chop. It was too short. He has a strike. Strike by Peyton. Strike by Kyrie. These ladies exchanging blows. These women locking up now. Peyton Royce pushes her. Oh man! What a cross body. There's a drop toe by Kyra Sane. Now Kyra Sane with a falcon arrow. Shoulders down. That's two. Kick out of two. Oh, what a punch. Oh, what a strike. Oh, boy, neck breaker. That was countered by Kyra Sane. Now Sane with that German suplex. My goodness. There's a stomp. And now look at this. Kyra Sane has that arm. Went for a close on those counter. Oh, what a drop kick. There's a kick. There's a counter by Royce. There's a kick by Sane. And now Kyra Sane. Alabama slam. Now Kyra Sane headed to the top rope here. Peyton Royce is far away. Kyra Sane. Insane elbow drop. That was absolutely amazing. Shoulders down. That's two and that's three. Kyrie Sane gets the victory. Kyrie Sane impresses me each and every time she executes that insane elbow drop. That was like three quarters across the ring from where Kyrie Sane was, was on the top rope at. My goodness, that was far away. But Kyrie Sane made it happen. Kyrie Sane gets the victory hit on SmackDown. It's not often we see Kyrie Sane and Oscar on SmackDown. But they're the women's tag team champions. Just like those signs just said, Kyrie is insane. And I do agree with that. Two victories in one week for the Pirate Princess. My folks, congrats to Kyra Sane on getting the victory hit on SmackDown as she gains momentum for her and Oscar. As they battle the Iconics at Battleground. Once again, congrats to Kyra Sane 
I'm getting the victory here tonight. There's Keith Lee right there. Uh, Mark, excuse me, but I have a match up next. I really need to be getting out there to have a match. Keith, do you know what you've gotten yourself into? In two weeks' time, as a great Balls of Fire pay-per-view, you're going to lock up with the beast, Brock Lesnar. Now look, I fought Brock Lesnar before. Brock Lesnar has hurt me before. Let me mentor you. Let me take you under my wing. You don't know what you're getting yourself into, Keith. Mark, I am a grown man. I know I can beat Brock Lesnar. Mark, I have the DW Universe behind me. I thank you for your offer, but I'm going to have to decline it. I have the DW Universe behind my back. <sighs> you love sucking up to those fans. You can't become successful by sucking up to the fans, Keith. I don't care what you say. I have a matchup next. And Keith Lee is right. His match he is scheduled next as he takes on the Celtic Warrior Sheamus. And there's the limitless one right there. Keith Lee. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Wichita Falls, Texas. Weighing in at 320 pounds, Limitless Keith Lee. And in two weeks, at the Great Balls of Fire Herbview, Keith Lee takes on his toughest challenge to date. He takes on the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. That's going to be one heck of a match. And Mark Henry, you just saw, was trying to talk to Keith Lee. Keith Lee saying he can do this alone. Here's the WWE Universe behind him. Fans saying he bask in, in his glory. Here comes Keith Lee's opponent for tonight. The Celtic Warrior Sheamus. And there he is. And his opponent representing the bar from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic warrior, Sheamus. Cesaro is not out here. Accompanying Sheamus to the ring tonight. Cesaro already had a match earlier. And Cesaro is in the back. Resting from that match. But I am 100% sure he is. Backstage cheering his tag team partner Sheamus on. Here tonight. This should be a great match between Keith Lee and Sheamus. Sheamus and Keith Lee two of the best we have here on the SmackDown roster. Sheamus, former World Heavyweight Champion, former WWE Champion, former Mr. Money in the Bank, former Royal Rumble winner. Fan sending, you look stupid to Sheamus. Referee rings the bell, and here we go. These two men locking up. Sheamus gets the upper hand. Off the ropes here. Oh, what a counter by the Celtic Warrior. Look at Seamus unloading with some punches on Keith Lee. And there's a stomp. Oh, what a punch by Keith Lee. Now Keith with a kick. Elbow. Oh, man. Keith Lee can be as tough as they come. There's a counter. And Sheamus went for a closing in the corner. But that was counter. Look at Keith Lee. Power bomb to Sheamus. 
Seamus in pain. There's a jawbreaker by Seamus. Oh man, Seamus went for a shoulder tackle. But it was Seamus who fell. Now keep Lee going for a belly to belly, but Seamus countered it. And down goes Keith Lee. Irish whip. Seamus missed with that clothesline. But there's a clothesline over the top rope. Keith Lee kicks up. There's a headbutt. Now Keith Lee has Seamus. Backpack face buster. Oh, what a punch by Seamus. Seamus went for a knee. That could have knocked Keith Lee out cold. And there's a backbreaker by Keith Lee. What a counter by Seamus. Now Seamus suplex. No Keith Lee with a counter. Oh, what a belly to belly by Keith. Now Keith Lee throwing Seamus all the way across the ring. There's a spine buster. But wait a minute. What's this? Is the beast here? Is Brock Lesnar here? No Brock Lesnar in sight. Keith Lee distracted. He's looking towards the entranceway. And Seamus with a bro kick. Come on. Shoulders down. That's two. Kick out of two by Keith Lee. Keith Lee is still in it. There's a kick. Now Keith Lee has Seamus up. Big bang catastrophe. Shoulders down. That's two. Kick out of two by Seamus. A look of disbelief on the face of Keith Lee. Now Keith has a hold of that arm. But Seamus counters with an elbow. Let's look at the power of Seamus. Rolling senton. Now the Celtic warrior. Headed to the top rope. Seamus drops the knee on Keith Lee. Went for a kick. Keith Lee caught that leg. There's a dragon screw. And Seamus rolls to the outside of the ring. But Keith Lee headed to the top rope. What is this? And Keith Lee with a crossbody to the outside of the ring. This man weighs over 300 pounds but moves like a cruiserweight. Elbow right to Seamus. Spine buster to Seamus. Into the cover. Is that spine buster going to be enough? No, Seamus kicks out at two. Again, a look at disbelief on the face of Keith Lee. What a punch by Seamus. Now Seamus has Keith Lee up. This ain't good. White noise. Hooks the leg. Is the white noise gonna be enough? No, Keith Lee kicks out at two. Now it's Seamus with a look at disbelief on his face. There's a kick by Lee. And Lee with a belly to belly suplex and Lee is still standing. This is what Brock Lesnar is going to have to face. Come great balls of fire but Seamus is going to have another bro kick. Shoulders down. That's two. Three. No. Keith Lee surprised me with that one. Keith Lee is still in this matchup folks. Oh, what a strike. And that is not what Seamus wants to be. Oh, Keith Lee. With the pounce. The pounce on Seamus. Shoulders down. That's two. Kick out of two by Seamus. Folks, so far, what a match this has been. Hit an eye on SmackDown. Both of these men are hard hitters, I tell you that. Belly to belly by Keith.
body slam. Oh, what a punch. And now Seamus, uh oh. This ain't good. Seamus with the high cross. Into the cover. One, two, three. No! Keith Lee kicks out again. Keith Lee is somehow still in this match, folks. And Seamus, oh man, he missed with that knee. Now Keith Lee gonna take advantage here. With that backpack face buster. There's a stunt. Now Keith Lee. Standing moonsault. Hooks the leg. Is that gonna be enough to put away Seamus? No, Seamus kicks out of two. Now Keith has that arm. Wait a minute, Seamus with some punches, and Seamus is free. I want to show this act by Seamus. Oh man, what a show to tackle by Keith Lee. Oh, what a counter by Seamus. Irish whip. He throws Lee in the air. Oh, what a bro kick. A bro kick. One, two, three. No! Keith Lee kicks out yet again. This is awesome. I want to count about Lee. Now Lee. Spirit bomb to Seamus. Shoulders down. That's two. And that's three. Keith Lee beats Seamus. Folks, what a match. What a war. Here tonight between Keith Lee and Seamus. Folks, that is what Brock Lesnar is going to have to deal with come Great Balls of Fire. Keith Lee proven tonight that he is indeed ready for his epic clash against Brock Lesnar. Once again, congrats to Keith Lee on getting the victory here tonight against Sheamus. Here tonight on SmackDown. Folks, there's the almighty Bobby Lashley. Let's see what the almighty has to say. The Almighty is not in a good mood tonight, so you all might as well just shut your mouths while I am talking. I am out to address something that has been eating me up for a long time. Here on SmackDown, I don't get treated as fair as all the other wrestlers. Earlier tonight, they had a battle royal to determine the number one contender to the Intercontinental Championship. And to no one's surprise, John Cena was in it and John Cena won. John Cena gets everything here on SmackDown. He gets everything handed to him on a silver platter. And I'm sick of it. I am sick and tired of being treated like trash here on the SmackDown roster. I am better than that. The almighty Bobby Lashley deserves better. And I don't care what Stone Cold Steve Austin thinks. I don't care what any of the wrestlers think. I don't care what you think. I know that I deserve better. I'm going to get better. Even if I have to go through Stone Cold Steve Austin himself. I will do it. Wait just a second. Bobby Lashley is about to get some company in that ring. As here comes the former WWE Champion. The Tribal Chief. The head of the table. Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is back here tonight on SmackDown. Last time I saw Roman Reigns was nine nights ago at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. The Tribal Chief has a microphone. Let's see what Roman Reigns has to say. Bobby, is this you out here? Doing all this complaining? Man, I missed one week. And the whole landscape of SmackDown has changed. When has the almighty Bobby Lashley ever came out to complain? 
Roman Reigns, the so-called head of the table, the so-called tribal chief. Well, Roman Reigns, before you even say it, I will not acknowledge you, and I never will acknowledge you. You came right here and interrupted me. Roman, don't interrupt me anymore, because you're going to regret this. This will be the biggest mistake you'll ever make in your entire life. Nah, man, the biggest mistake I ever made in my entire life was not coming out here sooner. You see, Bobby, you don't have what it takes anymore. You're going soft, Bobby. You're not the Almighty anymore. If anything, I'm the Almighty. I'm the tribal chief. I'm the head of the table. If it's a fight you want, it is a fight you'll get. Roman, interrupting me is going to get you hurt. Because at the Great Balls of Fire pay per view, in two weeks' time, how about I teach you a lesson for interrupting me? A one on one match between me and you at Great Balls of Fire. What do you say? Man, I'd be more than happy to teach you a lesson, Bobby Lashley. Bobby, someone needs to make you tough again. Someone needs to knock some sense into you. And that great balls of fire in two weeks, I will do that when I hit you with that spear. And the referee's going to count one, two, three. And therefore, you will have acknowledged me as your tribal chief. Acknowledge you in your dreams, Roman. Oh, look at the almighty Bobby Lashley taking down Roman Reigns. So, folks, I guess the stage is set for the Great Balls of Fire pay-per-view in two weeks. As Roman Reigns is set to do battle with the almighty Bobby Lashley. I want to start by Bobby. And Roman with a close on taking down Bobby. I'm not going to lie, it is good to see Roman Reigns back here on the blue brand. Oh, look at Lashley here. Oh, man, folks, this ain't good. Oh, what a cut about Lashley. Look at Bobby Lashley gonna taunt here. There's a backbreaker. There's an STL takedown by Roman. Snap me by Roman. Kick to the back. Bobby Lash is getting up over the strike by Bobby. And there's a headbutt. Now Bobby with a clothesline taking down Roman. Folks, what's going to happen when these two meet one on one at the Great Balls of Fire pay per view in two weeks? Ladies and gentlemen, up next is our main event. As the WWE Champion Shinsuke Nakamura goes one on one with the Intercontinental Champion Randy Orton. Champion versus Champion. Up next in the main event, hit it on SmackDown. Main event time, hit it on the blue brand, as here comes the Intercontinental Champion, the Viper, Randy Orton. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds. The Intercontinental Champion, The Viper, Randy Orton! Earlier tonight, John Cena won a battle royal to become the number one contender to the Intercontinental Championship. So at the Great Balls of Fire pay-per-view in two weeks, Randy Orton will put that title up for grabs against... Perhaps his greatest rival yet, John Cena. Warden and Cena go way back. They've had some amazing matches over the years. They've had a couple Hell in a Cell matches, a TLC match, an I Quit match, several one on one matches. And they're going to cross paths again. That great balls of fire in two weeks. The 
If I'm not mistaken, tonight is going to be a first time ever matchup here in Universe Mode. As Shinsuke Nakamura is going to battle Randy Orton. Champion versus champion. The two most prestigious titles we have here in WWE. The Intercontinental Championship and of course the most prestigious title we have here in WWE. The WWE Championship. And here comes the current WWE Champion. The King of Strong Style. Shinsuke Nakamura. In two weeks time, at the Great Bottles of Fire Preview, Shinsuke Nakamura has a date with Daniel Bryan. Folks, what a matchup that is going to be. Nakamura and Bryan. Great Bottles of Fire is going to be a great pay-per-view. Let me run down the match card so far. So far we have Shinsuke Nakamura versus Daniel Bryan for the WWE Championship. Randy Orton versus John Cena for the Intercontinental Championship. American Alpha versus the Hardy Boys for the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. As we found out earlier tonight, Alexa Bliss versus Natalya for the SmackDown Women's Championship. As we found out earlier tonight, well shoot, just a few minutes ago, Roman Reigns versus Bobby Lashley. And last week, Keith Lee versus Brock Lesnar. All of those matches will take place two weeks time at Great Balls of Fire. Randy Orton, Shinsuke Nakamura. Referee rings the wheel and here we go. Oh, what a strike by Shinsuke. Another strike. Orton just pushing Shinsuke. And Randy Orton with a swing neck breaker taking down Nakamura. What a forearm by Shinsuke. Shinsuke has that arm of Orton. Orton with an elbow. And Orton with the Olympic slam. There's a knee by the Viper. There's a kick. Irish whip. Oh, what a knee right to the gut. And there's a knee by Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura taking it to the Intercontinental Champion here. But Randy Orton counters with that kick. And there's a drop kick taking down the WWE Champion. Now Randy Orton going to taunt Nakamura. Nakamura using the ropes to pull himself up. Randy Orton. Oh, man, look at this. Hangs Nakamura on the top rope. Went for a kick to the chest that was counted by Nakamura. And Nakamura with a dragon screw. What a counter by Nakamura. Irish whip. Oh man, what a German suplex. Good God almighty. Now Nakamura gonna taunt Orton as Orton uses the ropes to pull himself up. Oh man, Nakamura stuns Orton on the top rope. Oh look at Randy Orton, roll up here. Shoulders down. That's two. Kick out of two by Shinsuke Nakamura. Now Orton with a huge knee. Right to the face of Nakamura. What a counter by Shinsuke. Oh what a kick. That's a counter by Orton. Now, Randy Orton with a suplex to Shinsuke. There's a kick for the strike. And Nakamura with that huge overhead throw to Randy Orton. 
Answer the cover. Is that gonna be enough to put away Randy Orton? No, Randy Orton able to kick out at two. What an uppercut by Randy Orton. That was strike by Shinsuke. Kick by Orton. Oh man, that is not where Shinsuke Nakamura wants to be. Randy Orton. With that elevated spike, DDT. That's vintage Orton. And Shinsuke Nakamura is busted wide open. Hooks the leg. Is that going to be enough to put away Nakamura? No, Nakamura is still in this match as Randy Orton argues with the official. Counter by Shinsuke. What a strike by Shinsuke. There's a back suplex by Nakamura. And Randy Orton wisely rolls to the outside of the ring. Oh, what a form. And Nakamura that dropped Orton to a knee. Orton went for a clothesline. Nakamura got out of harm's way. Arm drag by Randy Orton. Into the barricade goes Shinsuke. Now back into the ring goes Nakamura. Oh, what a punch. There's a kick by Shinsuke. Shinsuke with a kick. Uh oh. There's the Kinshasa. Shoulders down. That's two. Kick out of two by Randy Orton. A near fall. There's a knee. Elbow by Orton. Now Orton with an RKO. Shoulders down. That's two. Kick out of two by Shinsuke. Fans are still trying to RKO there. Now Shinsuke Nakamura with a sit-out powerbomb. Is that going to be enough to put away Orton? No, Orton able to kick out of two. There's a counter by Randy. And Randy Orton with a clothesline. With Randy Orton here with a half crab. Is Nakamura gonna force a break? So he's right there by the ropes, or is he gonna try to break the hold? Nakamura breaks the hold. What a stomp. Look at Nakamura with these forearms here. Okay, Shinsuke. Oh man, that fireman's carry neck breaker. Went for a kick to the back. Randy Orton getting up here. Look at Orton. Explode suplex. Look at Nakamura. Using the ropes to put himself up in that corner there. Now Randy Orton has Nakamura. And it throws him shoulder first into the ring post. There's a knee. Oh, what a punch by Shinsuke. Look at Nakamura. Oh, man. Landslide. Shoulders down. That's two. Kick out of two by Randy. Oh, what a clothesline by Orton. That's a kick by Orton. Look at Randy Orton here. Shinsuke in a powerbomb position. There's a powerbomb. That's a stunt right to the gut. Look at Nakamura with his punches, and Nakamura is free. Now Nakamura with a kick. There's the Kinshasa for the Orton. One, two, three. No, a kick out of two by Randy. Somehow Randy Orton was able to kick out of that Kinshasa. Oh, the punch by Orton. Another punch. Reverse DDT. Now Orton trying to knock him out to bring it. Oh man, this ain't good. Randy Orton stumping the limbs with Nakamura here. 
That's a stunt right to the face. Or in cross into the cover. That's two. Kick out of two by Shinsuke. Randy Orton with a look of disbelief on his face. Randy Orton cannot believe Shinsuke Nakamura kicked out of that. Drop to hold by Nakamura. Look at Shinsuke. Oh man! What a driver. Is that going to be enough to put away Orton? No, Orton kicks out of two. And we're going to taunt. And Nakamura tell Orton, come on. And Orton, RKO! He came on, all right, Shinsuke. One, two, three. No, Nakamura kicks out. Nakamura told Orton to come on and Orton RKO Nakamura. Now Orton calls for the RKO again. Oh man, Nakamura counters. And there's a knee. A knee to Randy Orton and there's a kick. Nakamura, there's the Kinshasa. Shoulders down. That's two and that's three. Shinsuke Nakamura wins. Folks, what a match. Shinsuke Nakamura able to defeat the Viper Randy Orton here tonight. Shinsuke Nakamura gains momentum going into his WWE Championship match against the Yes Man Daniel Bryan in two weeks time at the Great Balls of Fire pay-per-view. But I'll take nothing away from Randy Orton here. This match was a great main event here tonight on SmackDown. Both Orton and Nakamura I can say brought their A-games tonight. But on tonight, Shinsuke Nakamura was just the better man. Here is your winner. He is the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura. Folks, look at that blood on the forehead of Nakamura. Folks, why the time? This is Jalen Davis, number one, saying good night, and I will see you all tomorrow night for NXT.